Hey, I'm Rick Jansen. I'm a volunteer with the Oyster River Enhancement Society, also uh, part of the board. I'm the president this year. And uh, prior to the uh, establishment of the hatchery in the late 70s, the oyster was considered a dead river, which meant not that there were no fish, but there were virtually none. Certain right runs had been extirpated. Um, others were very, very weak. And uh, those were primarily due to uh, old logging practices, which logged right to the river's edge. It caused heavy siltation and flash flooding annually, which would wipe out the, the egg returns um, that were laid down. Uh, as the hatchery got established, logging practices and laws regarding those have improved. Um, some of the, the mine on Mount Washington has shut down, and, and the, the heavy metals it's been leaching into the Solomon Oyster Rivers uh, has been dealt with to a great degree, not eliminated yet, but, but uh, uh, improved a lot. And as the hatchery's gone to work, uh, the rivers, the four species of salmon are coming back. There's a small steelhead run. Uh, there's natural and enhanced cut, uh, sea run cutthroat in the system. Um, they started in 1979, and it's mostly volunteer run organization. We only have one hired employee, which is our hatchery manager, who works half time. Um, all our funds are raised through donations, and uh, we relied a little bit on gaming funds that we apply for every year to help pay the uh, manager's uh, wages. Uh, every Tuesday we get between 30 and 60 volunteers down here to carry out the work of the hatchery, things like picking dead eggs or catching brood stock or feeding fish and stuff like that. You'll see some of that this morning. Uh, what we're, we're facing now this year is uh, the gaming funds have become rather tentative and uh, the government cut back on how much they distribute to environmental groups. Uh, as a result, we may or may not get those gaming funds to be able to pay our hatchery manager this year. Um, and so we're looking for new sources of funding that way. Uh, membership is only $10 a year to become a member of the Oyster River Enhancement Society. Our results are phenomenal for the amount of money we put in. I think our total hatchery budget is somewhere around $60,000 a year. Before that, we get about uh, 35,000 coho, between 50 and 100,000 pinks to the river, 700 spring salmon. Um, often around two to 3,000 chum. We don't do sockeye. This is the sockeye system or steelhead or cutthroat, which are done by Ministry of Environment. Uh, so the results are really phenomenal for the amount of money that it actually costs down here to run, run this place. Um, and it's, it's provide a lot of recreational opportunity to people who fish the beaches in the lower river. Well, you can get memberships in a couple of different ways. We have a website called the Oyster River Enhancement Society org or dot com. Uh, our brochures are out in several places, including some of the local uh, fishing and hunting stores.